Hello guys, today's video I want to talk about energy drinks. So, are energy drinks healthy or unhealthy for you? Should you drink them? You know, so I'm gonna go into detail about energy drinks. Now you got mainly two varieties of energy drinks. You got the normal standard ones and you got the sugar-free versions. Okay, usually. Usual companies, most companies, you know, like Monster and Red Bull, they have normal versions and a sugar-free version without the sugar. You know, so firstly, most people drink energy drinks because of the caffeine. You know, it's not the actual energy drink that gives you the energy, it's the caffeine that's in it. Because it has caffeine, just like coffee. So usually one normal sized energy drink, which is about 250 milliliters, that usually has about probably 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is the same as, for example, one cup of coffee. Okay, and then the the other ones, like for example, Monster, they're double the size, so they're about five half a liter. Now they, you know, they don't have double the caffeine. I believe they probably have about one hundred and fifty to about two hundred milligrams. You know, which is about one and a half to two cups of coffee. So it's basically that caffeine that gives you the energy and a lot of other ingredients like taurine, um, some energy drinks have arginine, you know, all of those amino acids. Usually they give you some extra energy too, but it mostly comes from the caffeine intake. Now, are they healthy? Now the traditional energy drinks are loaded with caffeine and those energy boosting ingredients, but they're also loaded up with sugar. You know, they mainly have a lot of sugar, like a can of a normal sized energy drink has at least a couple grams of sugar, which is a lot on such a small portion. You know, you take three or four big sips and the can is fucking empty so they are loaded with sugar so the traditional energy drink isn't that healthy it's pretty unhealthy for you especially if you were doing fitness bodybuilding because it also has a lot of calories like a traditional energy drink probably has over a hundred calories per can you know and that's just a normal size and if you're drinking monsters which are the big energy drinks they have a lot more calories, you know, so, and those calories slowly add up, especially if you're drinking more than one energy drink per day. So the normal standard ones should be off limits, you know, because they're filled with sugar. They're just not good for you. And the good alternative is to use the sugar-free versions because usually they taste the same they have the same caffeine intake, they have the same energy boosting ingredients, but the benefit is they don't have barely any calories and any sugar. So it's basically getting the best of both worlds. You're getting low calories, no sugar, and you're still getting that energy surge. It might, it might taste a little different, but usually you know they taste the same like the normal monster energy the green one and then you got the black hand with the blue on it that's the sugar-free version of the normal monster and it pretty much tastes the same you know so you just get the benefits you still get the energy from the caffeine but you don't get the extra sugar that you don't want so should you drink, are they healthy? The sugar-free variations are a lot better for you and they're okay to drink, but keep in mind that you don't wanna go over, you know, your, a daily caffeine intake. 
because most most people they forget about energy drinks having caffeine so they just drink their normal coffee then on top of that they also drink some energy drinks which is gonna fuck you up you know you're gonna feel your heart working a lot your blood pressure is gonna rise up so you have to keep an eye on that you know so don't go over 500 milligrams of caffeine per day that's about the same as five cups of coffee or five normal sized energy drinks you know and even that is pushing it especially if you're not used to caffeine but anything over 500 milligrams is not healthy it's not even recommended to stay under 500 milligrams and keep an eye on your caffeine so pick the sugar-free versions because you still get the energy but without the excess sugar and keep in, um, keep in mind on your intake you know don't drink coffee and energy drinks at the same time the best way is to just if you drink three cups of coffee maybe you want a sugar-free energy drink later in the day you know and just switch it out don't take both you know just switch let's say okay I'm not gonna drink coffee now I'm just gonna get a sugar-free energy drink like as you guys have seen on my diet I drink about two or three sugar-free energy drinks a day but that's because I don't drink a lot of coffee like I only drink one cup of coffee in the morning and then about three sugar-free energy drinks so I'm only taking in about 400 milligrams of caffeine and that's because I'm not drinking a lot of coffee throughout the day and on the weekends usually I drink more coffee and less energy drinks so you just have to switch it out so you don't go over your caffeine intake to stay healthy and to stay good because too much caffeine is gonna make you jittery and you know your energy is gonna crash real quickly so so if you want to stay like that with the high energy energized then you gotta mind your caffeine intake thanks for watching i hope this video helped you out like comment and subscribe peace out